hi guys welcome back to my channel um if this is your first time here welcome if you are returning hello again um today what i'm going to be talking about is my overall college experience and what i feel like i've learned what i've gained from um not only attending an hbcu but also attending college period um so a lot of people don't know but i have recently graduated from an hbcu that i attended for four years I graduated from Chan University of Pennsylvania, class of 2018. Woo -woo. Um, I studied in, well, I got my degree in graphic design and fine arts. Um, um, so for me, my experience was a little bit different because I actually traveled 13 hours from um, Tennessee, Nashville, Tennessee, all the way up to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And um, I didn't know nobody. The closest relative that I had to me was about an hour and a half to an hour to two hours in Jersey. Um, so like when I tell you I was up there, I was up there by myself. My mom and aunt moved me in um, to my dorm and it was a community dorm. So it was me and my roommate. We were sharing the same room, it was open. Um, we could literally roll over and look at each other and be like, hey. <laughs> And then um, the bathroom was literally just like any other public bathroom where you went into the bathroom and they had the stalls for the bath, you know, the, the toilets and then um, the sinks and stuff where people brush your teeth. And then on the other side or right next to it was um, the showers where it was like three or four showers lined up, um, curtains and, you know, I guess to give you somewhat of a privacy that you didn't have. Um, that was my freshman dorm, I stayed in Tubman stayed in there for a semester and then second semester you know we had some difficulties with um, the university of fire and now moved us into the new dorm I still stayed with my roommate everything was cool we had a quad so it was different a quad was uh, four people two baths a living room area kitchen room area but it was just me and her so you know, we was loving good <laughs> until somebody wanted to move in with us, whatever, whatever. Um, talk when you were the blur. Like, I don't really know too much about my sophomore year, honestly. Um, that was, that was the year I got pregnant. I got pregnant spring semester. So when my junior year rolled over, I was pregnant and I couldn't play volleyball because I did go to Cheney to play volleyball. Um, my position is set of right side, outsider, so, you know, doing it all, <laughs> doing it big, no plans. <laughs> um, but sophomore year, yeah, like, that's when I, you know, well, freshman year, the second semester of my freshman year is when I met my fiance, um, who just proposed to me at graduation, and, um, yeah, dang, sophomore year was really a blur. Junior year, um, I don't know, we just, you know, they had, like, they had great parties, they had great, you know, somewhat great food. I stopped eating, actually, at the calf for three years, like, I, the only time I ate in the calf was my freshman year, and then sophomore year, when we were in the new dorm where we had the kitchen area, the only thing that the kitchen area did not have was a stove. I was okay, because we had toaster oven, so we were good. I made meatloaf in it, I made macaroni and cheese in it, I made cake in it, cookies in it, anything you could make in a regular oven. If you, you know, slice it down a little bit, made it in a toaster oven. Boom. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, junior year though, but all I did was pretty much work. I played played volleyball in the spring. I couldn't play in the fall because their senior night, like the actual senior night of the volleyball team, was the night that I gave birth to my child. Well, more than it, birth to my child. Um, and then after that, I uh, went back to playing volleyball senior year. It was a blast. It was really, 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 really hectic. Um, it was a lot going on. It was boom, you gotta get this done, boom, you gotta get that done, boom, you gotta get this, make sure you get these credits, make sure you get this credit, blah, 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 blah. All in a while, while I'm working, I'm still playing volleyball, still being a mother, I did it all, okay? It was really hectic. 
I don't advise you to have a child in college, okay? Unless you potentially got some help. <laughs> um, but other than that, like, it was really great. My one, like, major, 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 major advice is to never give up. Even if you feel like you need a break off and you need some time off and you need to do, you know, break it, cool it off, whatever, go ahead. Like, take your time off. Do you. And, but come back, okay? Don't start and then not finish like whether you do something with a degree or not at least you can say you have it so if you have the option to do something with a degree you can say i can do it versus oh i don't have a degree i can't do it you want to be able to open up your options out in the real world out in the work world you want to be able to potentially grow and go and you know do what you need to do i want to say one thing that um college taught me overall not just you know HBCU I feel like if college really taught me time management um, I was managing sports managing being a mom managing um, being in a sorority um, managing working um, and just trying to graduate it was it was really hectic for me but it was it was really a great experience. Um, what I feel like the HBCU aspect of the college taught me is that um, your peers and who you surround yourself with will always be a reflection of you. And if you surround yourself with the greater good of people, you will potentially raise your bar for success. You don't want to go to class, your friend calls you and is like, uh, no, you're going to class. I was definitely the mom of the group of friends that I was with. Um, I was definitely the mom of the, out of my line sisters. There's 24 of us. Um, a lot of people probably gonna be like, if you don't know me, the sorority that I joined was Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Um, and that experience has been overall a blessing for me. Um, a lot of people ask me all the time, like, what 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 exactly is it that you like so much about you know Africa Alpha and everything like that? I'm not gonna say it here because I have another video for that. That'll be at that at a later date. Um, but it'll be two years in April, so <laughs> I'm excited about that. Um, two years, 2019 will be two years. Okay. I crossed in 2017 so um, other than that I just I just really hope the best for everybody and I'm really proud of anybody and everybody that um, just even applied for college because college is not an easy thing if you're doing it by yourself and if you are doing it by yourself even more kudos to you and if you need help I and mean, just comment in my video or anything like that and I'll answer you guys as I can. And I really appreciate you guys for coming in and doing my video today. And I love you. Bye.